folks, and welcome to another installment of our Hacker Rank Coding Challenges. This one is a medium problem, and it's called Roads and Libraries. As usual, I'll go over the problem, give you some time to do it on your own, and then go over my solution. Here we go. Determine the minimum cost to provide library access to all citizens of Hackerland. There are N cities numbered from 1 to N. Currently, there are no libraries, and the cities are not connected. There are bidirectional roads that may be built between any city pair listed in the cities list. Uh, a citizen has access to a library if their city contains a library, or they can travel by road from their city to a city containing a library. And there's an example here of like a bunch of cities that are connected. Uh, you see here the 1, 7, 3, 2 are connected, but the 5, 6, 8 are only connected to themselves. So you can't build a road between this group and this other group, basically. Uh, and you're given the cost of the cities and the roads, and as well as this like list of um, connections, basically, bi bi-directional connections. So I'll just go over a quick example of my own here just to kind of solidify the idea. So here we have the city library costs three, city road costs two, and N being the number of cities is seven. So here we have seven cities uh, and the connections are again bi-directional, one through one and seven are connected, one and three, one and two, as well as two and three. And then separately there's a five and a six. And even though the other city isn't listed here, there's a the city all four all by itself that isn't listed, there's no connection, but it is a city and it needs a library. So if you were to think about like how would I place any of this stuff, the four needs its own library because that's a requirement. So this is this is going to be one library here. Uh, the five and six are connected, but one of those needs a library. So you're going to have one library and one road. And lastly, this larger group has a bunch of roads connected, but you have four cities and one of those is going to have to have a library. Uh, and you have to kind of think about like how many libraries should there be? Uh, ideally you're only going to need one because there's they're all connected right so that's the requirement that there's at least one connected uh, library and that will minimize your cost so you're going to need one library but how many roads are you going to need and just looking at it i see that the if i were to, if i were to place the library on number one each other city can connect to that and that's going to be three roads basically one library plus three roads. Notice that the road between two and three won't be necessary to have access to, to libraries. So I'm actually kind of ignoring the connection between two and three because those it's like superfluous. It does you don't need it. So that is the idea of how that works out. You're gonna have to develop some kind of algorithm to figure out how to exactly calculate all that and how, how the connections work as a task I will leave for you. So I'll give you some time to work it out on your own and we'll be back with my solution. I kind of went with a depth first search slash aggregation kind of algorithm, uh, which is going to take any any city ID and then find its connections and then look at those connections and then look at those connections and whatever it's connected to, you keep looking further and further until you find something, until you no longer have um, any new cities that you, you're, you've you seen. Uh, so you have to also keep track of what you've seen. Um, another thing to keep in mind in terms of so that that's like one half of the problem, which is like getting the cities connected. The other half is getting the calculation because there is a kind of pattern that you need to recognize. And I'm going to go over that real quick here. Um, so the first thing to recognize is that the literal cost will actually factor in because if you have a library that costs less than the road, then there's no reason to build a road. So you can kind of short circuit your algorithm initially if you see that the cost of the library is less than the less than or equal to the cost of the road then the calculation is really easy you just build a library in every city it's n n libraries basically uh so that's a nice a nice quick uh thing to kind of knock out All right the other thing to recognize is pattern recognition um and that's well this is what will allow you to realize that you basically only need one library per collection of cities and everything else is the roads basically. Um, and so here I have kind of like the ideal situation where you have in this case, five cities connected, but they're all connected to one city. And then that's, you would just need one library and then four roads. And that's like a really easy to recognize pattern. 
But what happens if things are more connected? Well, you'll recognize that the situation, even though it looks like I added, I added more connections here, in the end, it doesn't really matter. Those extra connections don't add anything. No, it doesn't add any value because as long as you have the, the one connection, and I'll highlight them here, like, so these thicker connections are the same ones as we saw over here, you know, just highlighted, but you don't need these other connections. You don't need to build those roads because they're unnecessary. You still have one library and four roads. Uh, same thing with this kind of uh, arrangement. And if, in fact, what you'll find is that you can arrange things in any way you want, because in the end, if you have five cities, you're going to need one library and four roads. And that's the pattern that you'll need to recognize. So in this case, there's uh, there's like one superfluous road. Like you can kind of cut this one out here because uh, you still have cities one, two, three, four, and five all connected in some way. And that's one library, four roads. So here is the idea. You can take any number of grouped cities and get the cost as one library plus C minus one roads and C meaning the number of cities in the group. So if you have that down, there are just two things to figure out. One is how to get the collection of cities. And then two is to calculate the cost, which is as easy as one library plus uh, C minus one being the, the count of cities in the, in the group. So, so let's look at the algorithm. So here's our problem from, from before. And here is my algorithm kind of laid out here. I'm going to call the depth first search, but also it's basically an aggregation. So maybe depth first aggregation algorithm. Here's the idea. I'm going to initialize a map or a dictionary uh, with the key being the city ID and then the value being a collection like a set, um, which will eventually house all the city IDs that are connected with that city. I want to initialize that set with the city itself. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is for cities like four over here, which doesn't have any connections, a city should be considered as being kind of connected with itself so that we can um, have the count work out in the end. So four <laughs> needs to have four in its collection. Uh, and that's what you see here on the right here. So this is what, uh, what I'm going to initialize. So then what we're going to want to do is to go through the list of city connections and make those connections. And it's basically as simple as adding the city ID in one city to the other city and vice versa, because it's bi-directional. So what does that look like? Well, if you can imagine that these are my connections and it's going to basically say one in seven are connected and then one in three, and then one in two. So one is going to have a bunch of connections, but each of those cities like two, three, and seven, they're going to have a connection to one. And that's what you see here. Uh, same thing with two and three and then five and six. Okay. So five and six needs to be connected. So you put a six here and a five here. Uh, and you can see here that everything has a connection except for four. And that's, that's what we saw before. Okay. So that is what we're going to have in as a change to this mapping that we made uh, initially initially. All right, so now we're getting into the main workhorse of this algorithm. So I know that kind of looks scary, but we're going to go through this. I promise we're going to be iterating through each city kind of recursively and ignoring cities we've already seen. And we're going to just keep a record of all those connected cities, basically. And we're going to do that for each city ID. Um, and so here is how we're going to start off. So first, we're going to keep track of cities that we've already visited because we do need to ignore things we've seen before. Otherwise, we're going to just keep going in circles, basically. Uh, so I'm going to set that as a kind of empty set right there. Then we want to keep track of all connected groups or cities. And that will be basically like a dictionary where you're going to have like some ID um, and then the collection of cities that belong to that group. So I'll create that as like a, a dictionary. Um, then we're going to go through each city ID. We can start wherever we want. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, whatever N is. We're going to look through each one. Um, so for the first one, let's start with one just to be easy. So city, city ID here is equal to one. Uh, then we're going to just check, hey, have we seen you before in the visited set? The answer is no. Okay, great. Then we don't skip it. We keep going and we add that ID to the visited um, set. So here is we're going to add one there. Then we're going to keep track of all cities within the current considered group. So this is uh, basically us saying, okay, we got through this logic. That means we've never seen this city before. Therefore, there's a new group that we're going to need to find. We need to find all the connections to that group, starting with a city of one, um, city, city ID one. So I'm going to create this as 
a kind of a set again uh i've been using a lot of sets recently so i guess sets are just where it's at for me right now and uh we're also going to initialize a queue which is just like a list um with the current ic's connected set so this is going to be like a list and um this is where you might deviate because even though I say up here recursively, I'm not creating, I'm, I'm doing this in an iterative way. So this is not a recursive call. I'm not calling a function on itself, basically. Um, you can certainly implement that though. There, there is definitely space for doing that. I just don't like having an unknown stack. So I prefer having just the iterative approach here. Um, you do you though, you pick your poison on um, how you wanna approach this. Uh, you know what I'll even say? I, I leave that as a challenge to the to the viewer here of using a recursive approach for this instead of the iterative one, which I took. Um, all right, anyway, so we have a uh, the, the initial city, the current city's connected set is what we have up here, and that's basically this. What are you connected to? That, that's all it's asking. So I'm gonna initialize my queue with that. And that's that's, now we're off to the races. So we're gonna say, hey, while we have a queue, and we have elements in that. Um, we're gonna pop off this, the one of the sets, like near the beginning or the end. Uh, I'm gonna pop off the only one that's in there, which is this. So we're gonna pop that one off. And um, we're going to uh, add that to the city group. So that is up here. That's what this is right here. Keep track of all cities within the current group. We're basically saying, hey, the, all the all the cities, all, all the city IDs that are connected to the, the first one, the city ID one, um, that's part of the group in instantly because that's connect. All those are all the connections, right? So we consider that as all the things that are connected are in there. Um, and we keep that set because we want to kind of look at each city within that set too and find all of its connections. And so for each city ID within the set, and I'll show you what the set looks like here. That's what this is. That whole set. Um, we now need we need to go through each one of those and basically tease out all of the cities that are connected connected to those cities. And add that to the queue and just keep going until we basically run out of cities. That's the idea. Um, so uh, first we'll consider city of one. Hey, have you been visited before? We look up here and sure enough, one has been visited before. So we can ignore that. We skip it. Uh, seven, have you been visited before? Nope. We add that seven up here. And then we will um, add the cities connected to it to the queue. So in this case, we go to the seven here and we say this, all the connections are being added to the queue, which is currently empty, but now it's populated. And then we're, we're done at that point. So we can kind of like get past seven. Now we go to three, three, have you visit? Have you been visited before? No, we add you to visited and then we uh, add three's connection to the queue. So three's connections are all these. So I'm gonna take that, add that to the queue here. And then uh, we are done with three. So now we consider two. Two, have you been visited? No, you haven't. So we add you to the visited. And then we go over here and say, we want to get all these that you're connected to and add that to the, the, add that set to the queue. And then we are done with two and we're done with that whole list. So we're done with this. That means we go back up here to the while loop and say, hey, are there any elements left in the queue? And sure enough, there are there are at this point. We pop off, we pop off this one, and we would, or we can, we'll add that set uh, to the city group. But you'll see that seven and one, which is what we just took out, are already there. So we, we're kind of like merging into that growing group. But those are already in there, so I don't need to. That, that won't change anything. Um, so this set that we're being that we're considering now is seven and one. Have we seen them in visited already? The answer is yes. So this effectively gets ignored. And we go back up to our queue, we pop off the next one, bring it down, we merge it into our city group, which is our, all that stuff's already in there. We check it out, all these things, three, one and two have been in the visited before, so that one kind of gets skipped as well. And then two, one, three, and that's basically the same thing. So all those things get um, considered and promptly uh, ignored because we've already created that. And effectively now, at this point, our queue is empty. This while loop is done and we will add that final group um to the growing uh, set or uh, i want to call this a dictionary really so this which doesn't need to be a dictionary it could actually be a set so i sets of sets actually sets are not hashable so it needs to be like a list it could be a list that's fine 
So this thing gets added up here. So it's like our growing list of connected groups. Uh, and then we're done with that. So uh, we now go back up here to our for loop and we just go to the next city, which would be two. Have we seen two before? Yes. So we can ignore that. Have we seen three before? Yes. Then we go to four. Four we haven't seen and four uh, gets added to our visited. Because that's what we do here. Keep track of all cities. So this is now a new empty uh, collection there. Um, add to the queue. All the things connected to four. There's only one thing connected to four and that's a set of four. It's all by its lonesome. Um, and we pop that off immediately. We say, hey, have you, uh, we add that to the set of consideration here. And that's the only city. It's already been seen for visited, so it gets ignored. And now that is the only thing that gets added at the end here for this final group. So that, that set gets added to our list of all sets. And you can, I'm sure you can see that the five, once you get to the five, the five and six gets added and it is its own like group or collection of things. So in the end, you're going to have a list where each element is one collection of connected cities. And now all you have to do is just do the math. Each one of these has a certain length. In this case, it's four, four cities. Each city is going to need one library and then C minus one rows. So it's going to be one plus three times whatever the cost is for those things. So, so that's the idea. Um, I hope <laughs> I hope that's clear. Uh, let's go into the algorithm. All right, so here is the code. So like I mentioned before, I will initially short circuit this by just checking if the library cost is less than or equal to the road cost, then we just need to return n times the, the road the, the library cost since you can just build a library in every city and that's cheaper than building any roads. So that's a nice thing. Um, so once you get past that, then you will have to assume that you have some roads to deal with and we go into our algorithm. So here I'm creating our city groups, uh, the initialized city groups, which is going to have the uh, so basically a dictionary where each key is the city ID. And then the value is going to be a set with that city ID initialized inside of it. So one, one here, two, two here, and so forth. Uh, and then we just go through the list of cities. They call it cities, but it's not really cities. It's more like connections, city connections. Um, so you go through the city connections and you have city A and city B. Um, it's a, like a tuple uh, or a list of two elements. And you basically just go into your city groups. And for city A, you add city B. And for city B, you add city A. So that's a bidirectional connection. It will look something like this in the end. And that's the idea. Um, and to take note of this, I'm going to count this as big O of M, M being the number of connections in this city list. All right, so the um, then we kick off into the big chunky part of the algorithm, which is to instantiate a final group, um, as well as the visited set, which are empty at, at first. Uh, we're going to go through each city ID starting from one. Then I'm just checking, hey, have you been visited before? If not, I'm going to add that to the visited list. And we're now we now consider that to be the beginning of a new collection of connected cities. Um, here I have the full group, which will be us basically like um, merging and storing all the cities that are connected to each other in that one little set. Uh, and here's our queue. And what I'm going to start with, I'm initializing it with the set that the connections to the first city basically which is going to be a set so while we have a queue we pop off that first set which is the initialized one and these are going to be our collection of connected city ids here i'm doing a set operation which is to uh, it's like the or operation it's just merging um what's already there with the new city ids potentially there may be overlap but because uh, how a set works it only captures unique values. Um, if you have redundancy, it doesn't matter because the set will only keep unique values. Um, so this full group is going to be um, basically a set of all connections um, in a unique fashion. Then I'm going to loop through each city ID within that set, this, uh, the, you know, each city ID within that collection of connected cities. And we do the same thing where we just check, have you been visited? If so, ignore. If not, then we add you to visit it. You've basically been considered. And then we add that so that city's collection 
to the uh, to the queue for further consideration. And we basically keep doing that until we haven't seen any new cities. And at that point, this full group has all the cities that are connected with each other within that group. And then we append that to our growing group uh, list, which is called final groups. And once you've considered all the city IDs, you've basically gone through all the cities and you've collected all your groups. And now all you have to do is the math. Um, so here I have a total of set to zero. And um, here I say each unique group has a one library and uh, n minus one rows. I should really call that, no, it's not really n, it's more like k minus one, k being the size of the that particular group. But anyway, um, so you can go through each city um, in your final group. Uh, I put big O of N here because technically you could have each city be its own group. So that's the max that it could be. So that's the worst case scenario. Big, big O of N is what I'm counting that as. Um, and then I'm going to take the length of the group as the count. And here is the equation from before, which is just the li one library plus the city road times that count minus one. You add that to the total. Eventually you're going to have your total and that's what you return here. All right, let's see some, uh, run some code here. That looks good. Let's submit some code. Well, it looks good. Um, I want to say that this one was challenging because my first, I went through a few iterations to get to the right place. Basically, what I initially initially did was I went with an adjacency list where I basically assumed I made the naive assumption that I could just assign the like smallest or largest um, ID within the adjacency list, which is not good because you can actually have, if you think about how that works out, you can actually have like pockets of um, connections where like it's very, very long connections that um, have like arbitrary city IDs, right? The city ID doesn't matter. So it could be arbitrarily small or large. And so you can have like a pocket of like small values here, but then further upstream you have like even smaller ones, but they don't get captured because I'm only looking at the locally small ones. Um, that was causing a problem. So this idea of the depth first aggregation or depth first search is better because it basically explores every possible connection, regardless of what the literal city ID is. It doesn't matter what the ID is. It looks at anything that's connected and aggregates it. All right, anyway, I hope that was useful and helpful folks. Um, if you find this kind of content uh, useful, please make sure to like, subscribe, and do all the good things. I will see you next time. Take care.